Hello my family members, today we are here with an advanced coding question that was asked on Accenture on campus drive 3rd September 2023. I will solve this code using python but any moment of this video I will share C++ code and java code as well. So watch till the end. Ok let's see what is the question. So the question is regarding for 248 number. A number is said to be 248 number if the count of 2s is equal to the count of 4s and count of 4s is equal to the count of 8s. The count of 2s should be at least 1. Given a number n, your task is to find 248 numbers in the interval 1 to n. Since the answer can be too long, print its modulo of this, right? And the input format is given below. The input consists of a single line. The first line contains a single line integer. N output format is this print the count of 248 numbers in the interval 1 to n mod of this right okay constraints is also given there and here is the example so if you take uh, input of 300 then output will be 2 how it is mentioned here so if you count start counting from 0 to 300 then you will encounter two numbers that is 248 and 284 in which all the cases I mean all the digits 248 are equal that is 1 right so count of 2, count of 4, count of 8 is equal to 1, both of them. So the output is 2, right? But if you take 10 as input, then you will get no such digit, no such number in which number of 2, number of 4, number of 8 is equal to same. I mean 1 or same, right? Okay, that, that's why the output is 0. But if you take 1000 as input, then uh, you will get 6 as output. How? The number you will encounter 248 and uh, let's say 4 to 8 or 284 right and sorry 284 and 482 and let's say 824 and 842 right so in this way actually you will get all the numbers all the digits or in all the cases is equal to 1 right so that's why the count of this is equal to 6 so the output is 6 right so okay let's go to the solution part right So at first define the function to check if the number is 248 number or not right. So take the argument n as in argument and uh, initialize the count 2 as 0 right and similarly for count 4 is equal to also 0 and count sorry count 8 is actually 0 right. So now we will run a while loop n greater than 0 and we will take the last digit so we will take the remainder right so digit is equal to the n mod 10 right and now we will check if the digit is equal to is equal to 2 if so then count 2 will be plus is equal to 1 that means to count 2 will be incremented to 1 and we will check l if if the digit is equal to is equal to 4 if so then count 4 will be incremented right so a, similarly we will check if the digit is equal to is equal to 8 if so then count 8 will be incremented to 1 now we will divide n by 10 to iterate through all digit right okay now return at the end of the while loop we will return the count will return actually a boolean type right so count 2 is equal to is equal to count 4 count 4 and count uh, count 4 is equal to is equal to count 8 and count 2 here it is declared that count 2 must greater than 0 right so if this condition satisfied then we will return true or false according to right okay now let's define the main function here right so def main sorry in this line we will take the input at first int input and we will initialize a new variable count is equal to 0 and we will run a for loop for i in range from 1 to n plus 1 right that is not inclusive that's why we are taking n plus 1. So now we will check if is digit, I mean is 248 number, is 248 number the i. If so, then print 
uh, then then count plus is equal to one right so now out of the for loop we will print the value of count but with taking the mod of this right so mod of one zero 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 seven right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right sorry right now we will write the driver code in this line right so if name is equal to is equal to main so we will call sorry we will call the main function here right okay let's see if this is right or not right. okay for 300 this should be 2 and for 10 this should be 0 and for 1000 this should be 6 right so it is 6 so as expected output but if you want to see the numbers then print the i then you will see what are the numbers right so for 300 you will see these are the numbers and for uh, for thousands you will see these are the numbers in which the count of 248 is equal to is equal to right okay i hope you have got the logic if you still face any problem then let me know right okay i am now showing the code of java here so please pause the video and see right i will not take more time here okay i hope you have taken the screenshot or paused the video right okay let me show the code of c plus plus right i hope you were waiting for this so this is the code right so please pause this and watch the solution if you still face any problem any syntactual problem then let me know i will explain you in the comment section right so i hope this session was very helpful to you if you think so please subscribe this channel and watch the all playlists regarding accenture on campus and accenture cognitive assessment based question right so thank you for today's session